this is Lynn with Katie Lynn's Creations. Tonight, I am going to show you how to do four designs on the Buy embroidery machine. Like and subscribe, and let's get busy. All right, so here we do. We have our machine, and you are going to pick this little rose right there, okay? And then you have to go where you see the little rose two plus. You're going to pick this, okay? So now that that is highlighted, you're going to pick four designs. And I'm actually just going to do the name real quick. So we're going to go one. And you'll see down here, there's a design. Pick it again. There's the second one. There's the third one. And there's the fourth one. Press OK. So then it opens up to this screen. And here you've got to do your spacing. And since this is names, this is the um, horizontal and vertical. And so over here, right here, as we want it to go up and down, I'm going to put in 30 millimeters. Go down, put in 60 millimeters and 90 millimeters. Press OK. And you can see I have four designs put in there. And then you're going to go ahead and hit your save and it copies that to your save designs. There you go. So let's try it again. Let's try it a little bit different. We'll go here again and exit. We'll go here, got to exit out. And we are going to take mm, the unicorn. Oh, wait, mm, escape. We're going to push this. Then we're going to take the unicorn and a name. Push OK. And so here's the design and the design. So the first design is what I picked. It's the baby unicorn. You, that's pretty much in the center. And then so here I am going to try and go. Um, we're going to start out at 90 just to see. I haven't done this part, so this is new, and I'm press OK. Uh, see, so now that goes tells me that we are going up. And if we want to go down, we want it down. So actually, let's change this. We're going to clear this to 30 and OK. So now it's right above it. 30. So try it again. 30. Let's go 40. Clear. 40. OK. Oops, <laughs> got in four. So let's clear it. We want to go 40, 4, O, O. Okay. So sometimes just trying to figure out the where you want it to go it takes a little bit. So now you have the name above it. And if you wanted it to go below, you could probably hit a negative 60. Hit OK, and it's going to go underneath. Okay, so now you have your name where you want it, and if you wanted to put move it this way, so say we want to move it, let's just go 10 millimeters. So it shifted it that way. So if we want to shift it the other way, we put it a negative, say OK. And it goes there. And so it's a little bit more underneath the design now. So if you have a design that you're using and you want to personalize it, that's and you don't want to, you know, merge them and stuff, that this is definitely a way to do that. And of course you save it. And there it is. Go ahead, hit OK. It's in there. I need to change my hoop size. So we need to go here and that's probably 
We'll start here. That's my big, big, big hoop. So I'm going to say, because that's about a 10 by 19 design. All right. So there you have that particular design. And I probably could go down one more size. There you go. So, there we have it. Hopefully, this will help you. Thank you. You guys have a blessed evening. And like and subscribe.